you know what? Get some people in there that can help you out. Because it works both ways. And I don't understand why people make such a big deal out of it. Like it's such a negative because coaches have been doing it for years. And you can go back and, you know, look at the stats and you could look at the coaches that were a head coach and a coordinator. And you could look at the pass fail rate. And make your own conclusion. It is not an easy thing to do. And there are just as many failures as there are successes. So, uh, clack kabash sleeping with B enemy. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to have to dig around to see what's up with B enemy, man. Cause he should have had a, he should have had a head job right now. Pause. He should have had a head coaching job. <laughs> he should have. So I don't know what the situation is with that. Anybody else that would have been coaching for Andy Reed and would have been available for a head coaching job sh- should have got that job. And I don't, I don't like hearing maybe he interviewed bad because they were trying to bring people, you know, they brought Jeff Saturday off the couch, didn't need an interview. They brought, they were trying to bring, uh, what's his name? He was with the Eagles for like six weeks uh, as a backup. They were trying to, Texans were trying to hire him. Um, is it K McNown? They were trying to hire him as a head coach and he hadn't coached anybody. I think he coached high school maybe. Like a small high school. So um, I don't believe in those excuses because at the end of the day, you could go back and find situations in the past where uh, owners have hired people that they shouldn't have hired. So if somebody wants to get around all of that nonsense interviews or whatever other prerequisites you want to throw up there, they can do that. And the, and the fact that Eric Bieniemy doesn't have a head coaching job is criminal. But they'll contemplate bringing, you know, Gruden back or or any other of these coaches that shouldn't have a job. The enemy got more experience than uh, Antonio Pierce. Now, Antonio Pierce should have gotten that job, but my point is still my point. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't know. EC1, like, you got a lot of idiots thinking more legit can't wait for them to shout fu- in week four. Oh, so you saying they're going to fire Sirianni in week four and then Keller Moore is going to take over as coach? <laughs> uh, someone asked what Sirianni would do, and I answered. Uh, me personally, I'm cool with Nick. Uh, I, yeah, I heard that question in the press conference, and it was it was somebody being smart. It was somebody being, uh, and you know, try to want to hit him with the office space you know what is it that you do here you know what i mean so uh it was it was kind of a disrespectful question in my opinion uh and somebody was just trying to get a rise out of it and any way he answered would have been um taken the wrong way if he just snapped back and 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 said like who the hell are you talking to they would have looked they would have looked took it as him being scared and unsure and just trying to bite the you know intimidate and bite the head off of somebody just trying to ask a question uh he tries to explain himself and then you know it's what's why would you do that and